Your questions are answered. This is Observer AM. It's 8.49 in Antigua, Barbuda. This is Observer AM, and uh, joining us for community segment this morning is someone who describes herself uh, as the following, and I have a feeling this is not limited to. She's a teacher at the All Saints Secondary School. The last time she engaged with us here on Observer AM, she was speaking on behalf of the school for some efforts they were taking they, that were they were undertaking at the time. She's also a local YouTuber uh, under the name Joshua Nets World, and she's on the hunt for all 365 beaches on the island and i'm gonna ask her where she reach <laughs> uh, she's also a disability advocate an environmentalist and she lives by the mantra be a good human so she's currently sh currently demonstrating that by assisting the family to raise funds for cyclist noted cyclist andre simon who remains at the mount st john's medical center joshua Ned francis good morning welcome to observer AM. good morning and good morning to all of our listeners yes indeed <laughs> I don't know why I don't have you so often, but you know, you've been busy, <laughs> busy. Joshua. Ned. As we've been discussing <laughs> off here, you've been busy oh, uh, being a mommy, and uh, congratulations to you. I just thought I'd throw that one out you. there for good measure. Oh, good. I uh, have a little human now. Yes, a, you have a, a minute around the drum be. Oh, God. <laughs> God help this world. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet, that's sweet you so where are you on the, the hunt for 365 beaches i have written down 250 beaches you're joking <laughs> not joking i have 250 beaches you're actually swimming them or you're just popping okay I can't so this. what you do is we did a boat trip we have a second one in the summer and we oh. just counted based on the land formation so once the land comes out and separates the beaches we're counting it as two okay. the best example would be fries yes. so you know the land comes out and that's how we have big fries and little fries correct so correct. Devil's Bridge has so many beaches, and I'm just excited. Yeah. Last year we had a pause, and this year, summer, it's all about the beach hunt. It's all about the beach hunt. All right. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that some other time. Yes, Maybe an will. entertainment Friday or something <laughs> like that. We have more time to delve into that. But you're really here to speak about uh, the plight of Andre Simon. Yes. Um, what is the latest? To the best of your, your knowledge. So I spoke with the to family. the brother on Saturday and they would have indicated that Andre is still at the Mount St. John and he is not in a coma. That wasn't the term that the brother used. I can't remember the exact term, but he is not very responsive at this point. And his son would have actually graduated last week and then the son went to the hospital and Andre was kind of lifting up his body so that was good news mm -hmm. and the brother has said that the biggest issue that the family is currently facing is finance he did an update on zdk and there was also an update on the concert that they had on saturday and mm -hmm. they just pleading to the public to assist in any way possible this morning on good morning antigua mm -hmm. barbuda today he was mm -hmm. actually saying the family is currently trying to find means and ways to get to five hundred thousand dollars and then pay it back what really touched my heart on Saturday, the brother was like, even if we raise this money and we have to pay it back for the rest of our lives, that is what it is. And I'm like, you know, this is true brotherhood. This is true spirit of family. And I just implore, like, you know, it's, it's an emotional situation. Like, mm. it's a lot. Yes, I, I, I can well imagine. Do you know where they, they are at at the moment on the goal to that half a million dollars? The last post I saw, I think... It, it was 27,000 USD and you're trying to get to 500,000. Oh, this is 25. This is 500,000 US. 500,000 USD. Okay. So that is like over a million EC dollars. 1.3. All right, let, let's, let's talk about the actual efforts. Uh, there's going to be an event on the 17th of June and then another one on the 19th. Do I have those correct? Yes, you do. So on the Great. 17th of June, mm. the All Saints Secondary, JT Ambrose, Irene B. Williams, Liberta Primary, and Cops Cross Primary were all coming together to do a walk, so that's cycle -ton. So we're starting from the JT Ambrose Primary School and then we're going to walk to the playing field in English Harbor. So the police are on board, Red Cross are on board. Like at this point, I have 20 cases of water in my car from Paradiso. So many different people are involved. School meals was like, yes, the school bus system. When I call a lady on Friday, she's like, yes, a lot of people are just on board. And I've been saying on the different interviews I've been on, we might think $10 is not a lot, mm -hmm. but $10 from me alone is just $10. $10 from 10,000 of us mm -hmm. is $100,000. And I know I'm being a bit optimistic, but I'm hoping over the weekend throughout these two events, we can raise at least $10,000 to give to this family. And that's us okay. being a good human. 
Yes, good being a good human. So there's the event, the sa- the walk and cycle thon. Tell us where is it? So it's going to start from where and end where? The JT Ambrose Primary School and okay. it ends at the playing field in English Harbor. So oh. all you got to do is go to any one of the schools. Uh-huh. They're going to have sheets. You register, you pay your $10 and you just either ride mm-hmm. or you walk from the JT Ambrose Primary School and we're going to English Harbor. So the good where's, where's news... JT Ambrose where again? All Saints. Oh, just okay, by that's Pizza not so Pizza. Bad. Yeah. That's not so bad. Okay. <laughs> just opposite the service mm. station there. Okay. So what is gonna happen? JT Ambrose is gonna come down and meet Olsen Secondary right on the because also meet Olsen Secondary on the main road. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna meet Irene B. Williams at Roman Hill. Okay. And then we're gonna meet Liberta at the main road in Liberta. And then we're all gonna trot our way down to the playing field in English Harbor. Okay. So even if you are in Liberta, you don't necessarily need to come to All Saints to start. You mm-hmm. can start in Liberta. Just register at the Liberta Primary School. Or if you want to read any one of the schools, okay. there will be a form that you can just sign your name and you give your donation. And the idea is all of the proceeds, none of it is going into any of the school pockets. All of it is going to be given to the family. All right, excellent. And there's also a Wallings Nature Reserve Trail that's on Sunday. Yes. So my sister is actually the managing okay. director of Wallings Nature Reserve. So if Who, we go, who's that? Rafika Atwood. Rafika is your sister. Yes, she is. Lord. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is my sister. So what? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because both of you, there's certain similarities, very yes, joyous. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you just have a certain effervescence, you know what I'm saying? I mean that in, a, of course, a positive oh, way. Yes. Um, but yes, wow, fantastic. So you're having this um, hike on uh, Sunday, which is the day after? No, no. So this is, no. Hold yes, on. it's this. Th- yes. It's the, the same weekend. After. The same weekend. Yeah. Okay. So Friday we're having something and Sunday we're having something. Okay. So what occurred, I would have sent out a message to the school chat, mm-hmm. 5 a.m. hikers, the AY society that I'm a part of. Mm-hmm. And then I reached out to my sister about all four associations that I'm a part of doing an event. Because okay. I figured if they, I'm a part of four associations mm-hmm. and four associations raise $2,500, yeah. that means we can give $10,000. Okay. And we would have done our part right. because I said, and I keep saying, a lot of people can't afford to give a hundred dollars. They can't afford to give a thousand dollars. But I'm encouraging people to give ten dollars mm-hmm. because the ten dollars is going to go a long way. So my sister was like, "Yes, we're gonna mm-hmm. do this trail," and she's actually opening long trail for us. It is yes. not marked. I haven't been on this trail, okay. and Sunday we're actually gonna have rangers to direct us to get in this okay hike done. So is it as the name suggests? It's a long trail. It's a. I, I haven't been on there, but I'm assuming. It's I'm assuming it's a long trail. But and where does it take you to? So I am not sure. I am not. I am excited because just like I am going, and mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing it for the first time, mm-hmm. and I am so excited. Right? I said to my sister, "It's Father's Day," so I've been saying to people, yes. "It's the best event ever." So Andre Simon is also a father, so we're honoring him. Mm-hmm. So what happens is you actually just have to pay your fifteen dollars for you and your significant other. That's thirty dollars. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, all the things you get for this thirty dollars, you get I a mean. good breakfast the morning Mm -hmm. you get a good sunrise you're doing a good initiative you're getting a good vibe all for thirty dollars tell the man happy father's day boom best gift ever fantastic (laughs) and it starts at 5 30 5 30 a.m no sunrise at five o'clock let's see yeah i'm just saying but well, one is normally said. very shady though mm-hmm. so it's not normally even when you're hiking in wallace well, it's true. not normally the um sunny it's not normally a sunny, that, sunny that, hike point point taken so it's 5 30 and uh the meeting place is with wallens nature reserve okay so again on that day and i'm encouraging people we do have a google forms where you can sign up it's on my personal page it's on wallens nature reserve page they shared it on <laughs> andre's page however even if you don't sign mm-hmm. up on the farm we're encouraging you to, to come out mm-hmm. we want the farm sign up because we want to have an idea for mm-hmm. the count for breakfast and i'm telling you guys thank you very much to the farmers to the different businesses who have said yes mm-hmm. they're on board because i'm telling you i've been calling people and they're just like yes i'm gonna give i'm gonna give mm-hmm. i'm gonna give and i'm just so grateful all of the donations i am thankful and all of the proceeds again from this go event are going to Andre Simon. What's a number that listeners can call should they need more information? You can call me at 727-2120 or you can reach out to my sister at Wallens Nature Reserve. Okay, fantastic. Well, well, well. I learned <laughs> something this morning. Auntie Rafika. 
Oh, oh no. dear, so I'm going to say something on social media about that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so very much uh, for joining us, Josh Renette. Always great talking to you. I don't know how come we don't do it more often. Oh, we but should. We should do it more often, especially now that you've gotten that, you know, journey out of the way. <laughs> you know, not walking in here with your... With my ha- belly. Your big belly. Hello, I'm so excited, right? On yes. Sunday, I'm strapping my... Hum- well, he's been on several hikes before, so I normally take him on a strap. So I'm excited about strapping him on on Sunday. And... Saturday mm-hmm. on for no so Sunday we're strapping him on and Friday You're we're strolling we're strolling. strolling with him to the hello he's been on so many adventures what's his name his name is Javez Javez yes right. <laughs> God bless Javez <laughs> Josh Annette, thank you so much all the best all the give best give your number again real quick seven two seven twenty one twenty and thank you all for Andre Simon have a great day everybody be safe thanks to all my guests this morning certainly the Honorable Trevor Walker 